another comment you made earlier, you said that, you know, Suge Knight, he had a piece of glass in his head and not a bullet. Suge, th Suge didn't have a, Suge, look, unless Suge got a bullet in his head after that night, the nurse said to us, he got hit with a piece of shrapnel, maybe a piece of glass, right? You're right. Why would a, a nurse wouldn't say that if dude had a bullet in his head? So that whole story about Suge having a bullet fragment in his head is not true. She said he was getting a couple of stitches and he'd be taken to a private room. Right, right. And I also heard you make a comment saying that, you know, the last two months of Tupac's life, it was a lot of tension between Tupac and Death Row, and Tupac wasn't happy on Death Row. Yeah, I mean, look, like I said, from the minute that I met him until the day he died, it seemed that the tensions with Death Row were increasing exponentially. Hence him firing his security detail and his legal team, right? Because that's clear. You do that when you're ready to fly the coop. And, and, and I think, the, in my humble opinion, I think the mistake he made is the mistake Dre didn't make because Dre left some of his masters, if I'm not mistaken, right? I honestly think that if he left some of his songs, some of his catalog, instead of his three-album deal, because, what, he had a couple of hundred songs that were unreleased, right? There are nine Machiavelli albums that were released on the streets for cash after he died. So I think if he'd left some of his songs, maybe he wouldn't have been touched. Well, from what you know, you being the wrong part, do you think he was happy with Diffro? Tupac wanted his autonomy. He wanted... I'm sure he had fun on death row. But if he was happy on death row, he wouldn't want to be getting off at death row. Right? And... Yeah. So you personally, you think Tupac was leaving death row? That's what we all thought. That's what all his team thought. Up to the day he died, he was leaving death row. Or he, he fired his legal team and he fired his security. And he had created uh, Euthanasia. We had Euthanasia and Machiavelli Records, but Euthanasia is the one that I had been told was the record company. And we had 24-7 productions for all his videos and movies. He didn't need anyone else. He could have gone and done a deal with Universal on his own. And he had a bunch of artists.